To ensure her film was as psychologically astute as possible, Ida Lupino interviewed murderer Billy Cook in prison. He said his aim in life was simply to live by the gun and roam. The only explanation he gave for his aberrant behavior was, I hate everybody's guts and everybody hates mine. Lupino got Cook to sign a release allowing her to use elements of his life story in her script, which she also did with James Burke and Forrest Damron, the intended victims who escaped Cook's clutches in Mexico. For the record, Billy Cook did have a deformed right eye that never closed, even when he slept. In 1951, he was sentenced to 300 years in an Oklahoma prison for the murder of a vacationing family who'd picked him up hitchhiking. Months later, he was extradited to California, where he was convicted of having murdered a traveling salesman. On December 12, 1952, months before the release of The Hitchhiker, Billy Cook was executed in the gas chamber at San Quentin. That'll do it for my hosting duties this evening. Join me back here next week for another full night of noir, including a film never before screened on Turner Classic Movies.